Hello YouTube, uh, today I'm making this video to explain my experience of laser eye surgery. Uh, as you can see I'm wearing sunglasses and I had the, the treatment today at uh, Ultra Lays in Cambridge and I've got my bag of goodies to take away with me, I'll explain more about that uh, later on. Uh, and uh, I'm making this video just to kind of share the experiences of, of the laser eye surgery. I didn't watch any videos like this before I had the surgery, so I thought it might be useful to, to make one and share, share the experience. Um, and I guess I'll assume that you have some knowledge of laser surgery. Um, if you don't have any knowledge of it at all, then um, there are lots of good places on the internet to find out. And uh, if you book a consultation with, with uh, your provider, then uh, they'll explain to you uh, about the procedure in a bit more detail. I'm going to try and explain uh, more how it feels rather than actually what they were doing because I couldn't really tell what they were doing. Uh, but I can know I was sore and I know how I felt so I thought I'd share about those things. So so I had my uh, consultation, my, my surgery in Cambridge today. Uh, went there, first got a bit of paperwork out of the way, uh, signed uh, various forms, uh, they checked my medical history again to make sure I was uh, medically suitable for the, um, for the procedure. Um, then uh, I met the surgeon, uh, and the surgeon took me to the the room where the opticians had done the, the tests uh, earlier when I had my consultation. Uh, and he looked into my eyes. He did the bright light test. Uh, he did the the kind of the looking down a uh, little hole at a, 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 a house in the distance and kind of focusing in and out. Uh, and he made me look into this big black circle with a little hole in the middle which didn't have any sensation I was just kind of looking straight forward and um, he looked into my eyes just to kind of double check that um, the readings that they'd done before were, were correct and that everything was suitable. Uh, the surgeon uh, was very calm and uh, explained everything to me uh, that he was doing um, and uh, I felt really uh, relaxed. Uh, I, I didn't feel very relaxed, I was a bit nervous obviously about the surgery, but I felt he put me at ease and um, he asked me if I had any questions and um, I asked him a couple of questions and uh, he seemed very friendly, he seemed, he, he seemed to be wanting to get on with the business a little bit, but that's good because I wanted someone to do the business anyway. So, um, so anyway, he looked into my eyes and then he left the room and his assistant came in uh, and she put in the uh, antiseptic drops. Um, which um, which numb my eyes. Uh, there are no injections involved, uh, but uh, probably they were putting in quite a large number of drops uh, before and, uh, and during the procedure. When they put in the first set of drops, there, there was a mild stinging uh, sensation. Uh, if you've had a consultation, you probably had the same kind of drops put in, uh, and um, and you know what that feels like. Then they cleaned around my eyes with iodine uh, to make sure it was all clean. Uh, and then I went and waited outside the operation room and they uh, put on some plastic bags on my feet and uh, a hairnet on my head. Um, so it seemed very hygienic. Uh, I went into the operation room. There was the surgeon and his two assistants. I lay down on the bed um, and I got comfortable. There was a pillow and they put something under my legs. Uh, probably it was quite comfortable. Um, and I was kind of looking straight up, at, up towards the ceiling and uh, there were some lights and they explained to me what was going to happen. The, the bed actually moves uh, from side to side uh, depending which laser is, is in action. So I started off kind of staring up at the, at the red light, a little red light there. I was told to focus on that red light, uh, which I did. Um, actually, I should probably explain before that getting a bit carried away. Uh, the, the surgeon actually, um, before any of this happened, he put tape above and below my eyes. It felt like he was kind of opening the eye a little bit. And then I could feel him putting in a clamp. And the clamp didn't hurt. My eyes were pretty numb. Uh, but it just kind of opened my eyes. Uh, and he did my right eye first, which I'm doing on this side of my head. Uh, he opened my right eye first. Uh, my left eye was covered. So I couldn't, I was blacked out. Just, uh, I could only see things with my right eye, it was clamped open and I couldn't I couldn't blink. Uh, I could try to blink and I felt like a little bit of compression uh, but uh, most of the time I was trying really hard not to not to try and blink. Uh, so laid down, eyes clamped open, looking up at a red light. Um, 
I, I couldn't really tell what that one did. Um, when it was, I was kind of staring at it. Then I was moved across. So it was just a little red light and uh, wind kind of dark around it because it was quite dark. And I was moved across to another um, uh, machine, microscope machine, uh, and that had um, lights around the outside. It was a bit like looking at the bottom of a spaceship. Um, and this this is probably where most of the business took took place, and this was the most uncomfortable one. It felt like he kind of screwed a lens onto the eye, but obviously I didn't feel very much, but it felt like something was pressed onto the eye. Uh, and uh, there was quite a lot of pressure during this part. I, I, even after he'd taken the lens away, I couldn't tell if he was pressing or if it was the if it was the light that was doing it, but it felt like quite a lot of pressure on the eye. Uh, and um, I think my vision kind of went. This was probably the strangest thing, was that uh, for a while I didn't have any vision in the eye, um, which I wasn't expecting before I went to the, to the surgery today. So I didn't have any vision, it kind of, the lights kind of got bigger and bigger and then it kind of blurred out to darkness. Uh, and then there was like the bits of light. Uh, and then I was moved across to the other machine and I could see red and green. Um, a bit like those tests you do at the opticians where you have the red and the green things you've got to see which is the darker. Um, there was red, red and green lights, like red and green flashlights there, kind of both pointing towards my eye. And um, uh, they were quite, you know, it was like it was like a point of light kind of emanating out. And um, this is where I think the main, main kind of operation took place. Um, there were three bursts of the laser. I could hear the surgeons um, saying three bursts of the laser uh, and counting them down and, 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 um, and setting those off. Here I tried to keep my eyes really still. I mean, I'd always been trying to keep my eyes, but this was I felt was the, the most important part to keep your eyes uh, still. Um, and uh, while this was going on, there was um, the surgeon explained to me before there was a, a, a burning smell, kind of a bit like he said, like singed hair. So I guess that was uh, the actual, um, you know, actually reshaping the eye for me. Um, and uh, and and that that happened for a while. Um, and then after that, I, I had got quite a lot of vision back in that eye. I could kind of, the lights had kind of, they were quite blurry to begin with. They started to become more kind of uh, less blurry. Um, and uh, after the three bursts of the laser, this is where I, I felt like the surgeon was really working on my eye to kind of uh, put the flap back. Um, they cut a flap and he was trying to put the flap back. And I could actually see the implements he was using to, to put the flap back on my eye. And it felt like, although he probably wasn't, he was like sticking the flap back down with his with his fingers. But uh, my eye was quite numb and I couldn't really tell what he was doing because it was right there. Um, but they were all operating kind of above my head. So I was lying down, they were all above my head. I didn't see anybody while this was all happening. I could hear their voices. Uh, and while that was going on, they were being very reassuring, saying I was doing exactly the right thing, telling me when it was really important to be still, and they said, very good, this is going exactly as planned, and um, halfway through they said, are you alright, is everything, are you fine? Not that I, that I think they could have stopped if it wasn't, but um, they asked me if everything was okay, and I said, yes, definitely, uh, and they kept on going, oh, I, I didn't have to talk very much, I just lay there, and, and they got on with the business. Um, and then they, they covered my right eye, and repeated the process on the left eye. So everything I've said is repeated. Um, however, for the left eye, I did feel a bit more kind of discomfort. Maybe it was because, you know, I, I don't know, I was kind of half relieved that one eye was done, or maybe the other eye was kind of adding to the discomfort. So uh, when, when they were working on the left eye, especially at the beginning, maybe once they got into it, I was fine. It did feel a little bit uncomfortable and felt a little bit like I had an eyelash in my eye while that was going on. So, um, so yeah, uh, the whole business took about 10, 12 minutes, I would guess. It seemed very, very quick. Um, after they were finished, the lights kind of came up, uh, and they put protective shields over my eye. I just stuck those on temporarily for me. Um, and I could see from both eyes. Uh, as I say, my vision had come back. Uh, by the end of the, the process, and I could, I could, I could, um, I could get off the bed, and I, I could see what time it was on the clock. It was blurry, in, and um, I would say my vision is still slightly blurry, but that's been improving since since the, the surgery. 
Uh, after that, they took me to um, took me back to the kind of the optician's room where the surgeon came and, and looked in my eyes with the light. Uh, he said everything is looking fine uh, at the moment because uh, there are a number of appointments I need to go to afterwards. Uh, first one being tomorrow. Uh, then I was taken to another room where the nurse, so that was the, the end of me seeing the surgeon, I said my goodbyes to the surgeon. Uh, the nurse explained to me the, the series of drops that I'm going to be taking. Now, I haven't started the drops yet, uh, but there are actually uh, three drops. Um, one of them is uh, antiseptic, I think, uh, anti, and one of them is anti-inflammatory. Um, one of them is antibacterial, not antiseptic. Uh, and uh, the third one is, is uh, artificial tears because one of the one of the most common side effects of having laser eye surgery is that your eyes are going to be dry for a while afterwards, and um, that, that might take a couple of months to until your eyes are back to normal um, under, under the best circumstances. I think so. Uh, expecting to make use of those artificial tears. Um, now, uh, what else do you need to know? So, so, so um, after that was done. I was probably in the surgery for an hour and a quarter at the most. Um, I got my taxi uh, back home, um, and uh, I could see things fine. And I mean, my prescription before I had the treatment was minus 4.25, which means uh, I couldn't, for example, see my alarm clock next to my bed. I had to bring it closer to my face to see the time. Uh, as I was driving back, I could see the number plates on cars. Uh, I could see road signs very clearly, I could see the taxi driver quite clearly, and I was explaining to him all about the, the, the treatments and the process. Um, and, uh, and once I got home, I, I, I didn't really have much pain in my eyes either, I kind of uh, got out. And the recommended thing is to go straight to bed, so um, that's what I did. I went straight up and I lay in bed, and um, I was supposed to put the... Uh, the, the the eye covers over my eyes, so I don't poke myself in the eyes, but I just kept these sunglasses on and, and lay in bed, and I probably was there for, for two, two and a half hours, and I had a, had a snooze for an hour, uh, probably as part of that, and when I woke up from the, the snooze, my eyes were a bit drier, and um, I didn't got the radio put that on, because you're not supposed to watch TV uh, or do computer stuff or read text, really, after the surgery. You don't want to put any strain on your eyes. So just put the radio on. Um, and then, then my eyes started to water a bit, and uh, since then my eyes have watered quite a lot, um, I guess as a reaction to the surgery. Um, I've kept my sunglasses on, I don't want, don't want to really be looking in any bright lights, that would be very da dangerous maybe. Um, and uh, the, the feeling in my eyes is currently right the second very, very nice. When I do feel pain it's a lot like having an eyelash in your eye, and if you've tried contact lenses it might be like when you put the contact lens on it, it doesn't quite sit right, there's a little bit of, feels like an edge there when, you, when you're blinking, or maybe if you put the contact lens on backwards, uh, then, then that's what it would feel like. And um, yeah, I guess I should um, end this video by kind of showing you what my eyes look like. I haven't looked at my eyes yet, uh, so I'm a bit nervous about this. Uh, I probably won't watch this video for um, a couple of weeks. Uh, maybe more because uh, that's how long I'm expecting to be wearing the sunglasses and that's how long it's going to be until I, I I should be able to kind of go on as normal without having the covers over my eyes at night and things like that so um, here goes let's have a look at my eyes there we go excellent maybe they're a bit bloodshot they did say that for a couple of weeks my eyes could be bloodshot there might be some uh, bruising around the eyes um, I'm expecting to have some bruising around the eyes uh, and hopefully within a couple of weeks I should be free of these contact lenses uh, and I should be able to see as, uh, at the moment my vision is extremely good it's it's like I was wearing my glasses but uh, I can I can read text across the room it's still a little bit blurry but I can read probably font 25 size across the room quite quite comfortably um, so, so yeah, I thought I'd share that with you today. Um, hopefully it explains to you what the, the procedure is like. Um, and if you have laser eye surgery, good luck. I'll probably follow this up with some more uh, information as I have appointments and checkups. So thank you very much and goodbye.